Brigham Young said, Joseph Smith was foreordained in eternity. By the time the family arrived in western New York, the area was ablaze with religious fervor. Joseph recorded during this time of great religious excitement, my mind was called up to serious reflection and great uneasiness. Though my failings were deep and often poignant, still I kept myself aloof from all these parties. Yet so great were the confusion and strife among the different denominations that it was impossible for a person, young as I was, and so unacquainted with men and things, to come to any certain conclusion who was right and who was wrong. Joseph turned to the Bible and read James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. He noted, I reflected on it again and again. So in accordance with this, my determination to ask of God, I retired to the woods to make an attempt. It was on the morning of a beautiful clear day, early in the spring of 1820. Soon thereafter, Joseph said that a pillar of light rested upon me, and I saw two personages whose brightness and glory defy all description standing above me in the air. One of them spake unto me, calling me by name, and said, pointing to the other, Joseph, this is my beloved son, hear him. The Savior then spoke, Joseph, my son, thy sins are forgiven thee. Go thy way, walk in my statutes, and keep my commandments. Behold, I am the Lord of glory. I was crucified for the world, that all those who believe on my name may have eternal life. They told me that all religious denominations were believing in incorrect doctrines, and that none of them was acknowledged of God as His church and kingdom, and at the same time that the fullness of the gospel should some future time be made known unto me. Joseph also noted, I saw many angels in this vision. Following this glorious vision, Joseph wrote, My soul was filled with love, and for many days I could rejoice with great joy. The Lord was with me. Joseph also began to learn what ancient prophets experienced, rejection, opposition, and persecution. Three years later, in 1823, the heavens opened again an angel named Moroni appeared to him and said that God had a work for me to do and that there was a book deposited written upon gold plates that contained the fullness of the everlasting gospel. Before his death in 1844, Joseph wrote a spirited letter to the saints which continues in the church today. Brethren and sisters, shall we not go on in so great a cause? Go forward and not backward. Courage, brothers and sisters, on and on to the victory. Let us therefore as a church and a people and as Latter-day Saints offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Consider what offering you will present to the Lord in righteousness in the coming days. Share it with someone you trust. Please take time to do it. I know that the Savior is pleased when we present Him an offering from our hearts in righteousness, just as He was pleased with the faithful offering of those remarkable brothers, Joseph and Hiram Smith, and all other faithful saints. Of this I solemnly testify in the sacred and holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.